Hi folks, today I'm going to show you the number one piece of bassoon reed making equipment that we sell that's going to really drastically help you improve the consistency of your reeds and as a result improve the quality of your bassoon reeds in general. Let's take a look at our Cornelison forming pin and mandrel set for bassoon. Hi folks, this is Conrad Cornelson with LC Double Reads. Uh, many of you watching probably know me already, but if you don't, I'm a professional bassoonist and co-founder of LC Double Reads, and the other co-founder is my wife, who is a professional oboist here in the United States. Our main mission as a company is to design innovative and high quality reed making tools and accessories that we then work with manufacturers hands-on in order to bring those designs into reality and as a result, bring them into your hands to improve your life as a reed maker. Right now we're putting out weekly videos talking about double reed topics such as knife sharpening and reed making, as well as introducing our products to you and answering any questions that you may have as the consumer. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if there's a specific topic you'd like to see us talk about, leave a note in the comments and we'll be sure to cover that in one of our future videos. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about a personal project of mine that has already helped hundreds of bassoonists across the United States achieve a greater consistency in their reed making and have better reeds as a result. As you may know, or you may have heard from your teacher, having a great deal of consistency in your reeds is imperative to having good reeds. By being more consistent, you're eliminating as many variables as possible, so that way you can A, tell if the adjustments you're making are actually making a difference, and B, most importantly, you can quickly discern if the quality of cane that you're working on is good or not. By optimizing your reed making workflow, so that way you can quickly determine if you're working on a good or bad piece of cane, you can more quickly discard the bad pieces of cane, spend more time with the good ones, and as a result, you will have better reeds in your reed case. Having better reeds in your reed case means that you're going to play better because on any day we only really sound as good as the best reed in our reed case allows us to sound, right? Right. We can make a video discussing more about cane quality at a later date, but in the meantime, if you have any thoughts or questions on the matter, feel free to leave those in the comments and I'll address them as best I can. One of the often overlooked aspects of bassoon reed making in terms of gaining more consistency is actually the forming process. We talk a lot about finishing the reeds and all the things we need to do there, but we could really go all the way back to the forming process to bring a greater consistency. Now, if you're brand new to bassoon reed making and you're either purchasing blanks and then finishing those, or you're just adjusting reeds that you've either purchased or your teacher's given you, then this video won't really apply to you. Uh, but if you are forming your own reeds and you're doing anything from a uh, cane that's been processed, then this may be a product that you want to consider adding to your toolbox. Our Cornelison Bassoon Forming Pen and Mandrel Set is a professional grade bassoon reed forming system that is price accessible for students and professionals alike. It offers flexibility to work with most bassoon reed shapes and styles and is currently the only forming system on the market optimized for the Hertzberg system. I started brainstorming the ideas for my system while I was a graduate student at Rice University. While there are many great bassoon reed forming systems on the market and I liked what many of them had to offer, they either lacked one or two things that I felt were kind of essential flaws. Uh, they either didn't give me the level of consistency that I wanted or conversely, they were so strict on what exact dimensions they wanted me to use that I couldn't deviate from that if I wanted to. Most of the forming mandrels I tried also didn't really extend far enough into the throat of the reed to satisfy me. So, armed with a notebook and a set of dial calipers, I began taking measurements of the forming depth for over a hundred of my finished reeds and over a hundred of my reeds that I had recently formed. 
Not having hundreds of reads on a drying rack at any given point in time meant that this process took months. Once I felt I had acquired enough data, I took the averages of those numbers to determine two things. Roughly how far down on the forming pin I should be forming the reed when I'm making the mummy. And secondly, how far down the forming pin the reed should fit when it's finished and after I've done the bevel. And we can make another video talking about the Hertzberg beveling process. But in the meantime, if you want to see a really good resource on that, I highly recommend checking out Kristen Wolf Jensen's series on the Hertzberg system of bassoon reed making. And I will leave a link for that down in the comments. It's a really good series. Uh, she did interviews with a lot of great players, and I highly recommend checking that out. Now, after getting my measurements, I knew that some reed makers would probably want to deviate from those measurements depending on what style reed they made, what shape they use, or just personal preference. So I had to figure out a way to put some sort of guidelines on a forming pen without creating hard ledges that was going to stop somebody from deviating in either direction. I then worked hard to develop a taper that would extend the taper of the bassoon's bore through the bocal through to the end of the reed. And I wanted to make sure that it went into the blade portion of the reed to offer extra support there during the forming process. After working through several prototype versions with the manufacturer, we finally released our Cornelison bassoon forming pen and mandrel set in 2017, which was three whole years after I initially started its design. The key feature of our forming system is the two guidelines marked on the forming pen. The guideline on the wider portion of the taper is a suggested forming depth, though a reed maker can easily deviate from it and use them just as visual references if they want to. The guideline closer to the tip of the forming pen shows suggested fitment for finished reeds. Keep in mind that this particular measurement does account for the Hertzberg beveling process. Our system also includes an ergonomic handle from which the pins can be easily removed and then locked into place with an included hex key. This makes it easy when you're forming lots of blanks at once to just form the blank, pop it out, pop it on your drying rack, and move on to the next pen. Our forming system is available in multiple configurations depending on your needs and budget. You can purchase a set of five forming pins alone, a single forming pin with a handle, our acrylic drying rack base, tastefully laser etched with the LC Double Reads logo, with or without 10 forming pins, or our Cornelison bassoon forming pin and mandrel set, the most economical choice of all of them, which includes everything mentioned above. We'll come out with another video soon with a tutorial on how to get the most out of using our forming system. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and stay tuned. For more information on this or any of our products, please check out our website at www.lcdoublereads.com. You can also like us on Facebook or follow us on Instagram at LC Double Reads. Thank you and be well. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-